Inspect the car for any mechanical damage before starting the LPG installation. The diagnostic scanner is used to check the engine operation. Read out the error codes stored in the diesel controller. After diagnostics is completed, report any anomalies to the owner of the car. Before starting the LPG installation assembly, fill out of an acceptance form that should include car specification, customer data, set assembly conditions, total price of the service, and any damage or defects found in the car. The form should be signed by both parties. Remember to disconnect the battery before the installation. Mount the LPG tank with fixtures. Remember that the tank mounted underneath the car should not be lower than 200 millimeters above the road surface. Fix the multi-valve to the tank by using a torque wrench up to tighten up the screws up to 5 nanometers. The refueling valve should be located at the distance of 10 centimeters, minimum from the heat source. That is the vehicle's exhaust system. Attach gas hoses to the vehicle chassis by using metal clips. The reducer is attached to fixed and stable elements inside the engine compartment. In order to heat up the reducer, connect it to hoses that deliver the coolant from the engine's cooling system. In most cars, you should plug in parallel to the cooling system between the heater and the engine block. Proceed to drill holes for screwing in nozzles for gas fuel distribution inside the intake manifold. Before fixing the nozzles, apply a high temperature resistant sealant on the thread. Connect gas injectors with gas hoses to the nozzles placed in the engine's intake manifold. The 
PS2 sensor is mounted on the gas hose downstream the volatile phase filter, as close as possible to gas injectors. Connect the safety valve on the reducer to the nozzle in the engine's intake manifold. Drill holes in the common section of the intake manifold for two nozzles. One of them will be used for manifold vacuum measurement and the other one for gas discharging from the reducer safety valve. Insert a hose on the screwed-in nozzle and link it to the PS2 sensor and then to the reducer's vacuum connection pipe. The volatile phase filter will ensure clean gas directed to the gas injectors. The filter is mounted downstream the reducer, upstream the PS2 sensor. The STAG diesel controller requires for operation a diesel injection control pulse. Connect to any injector by cutting one of the two control wires. Solder wires from the STAG diesel controller bunch into the cut signal wires. Red wire on the injector side, red and yellow on the computer side. Connect the power supply and LPG installation controller grounding leads to the battery. Locate the accelerator pedal position sensor and by using a multimeter, find a wire with the signal 0 volt, pedal at rest, and about 5 volt, pedal depressed, to which the blue and yellow wire from the STAG diesel bunch should be connected. The engine speed signal is taken from the camshaft position sensor. The middle wire in the sensor connector is normally a signal wire, to which the brown wire from the computer bunch is to be connected. Emulation of the fuel pressure sensor is carried out by cutting the signal wire, usually assigned to pin 1 in the sensor connector. The green wire from the STAG diesel controller on the engine computer side, while the yellow one on the pressure sensor side. Remember that all electrical connections should be properly soldered and protected with insulation. The NOx sensor is mounted directly in the engine block at the location provided by the manufacturer. Usually this is a threaded hole of 10 mm diameter in the engine block. If a hole is unavailable, place the sensor as close as possible to the half length and half height of the engine block. It is very important to tighten the sensor up to 20 nanometers with a plus minus 5 nanometer tolerance. If the vehicle features the Lambda probe, use it by connecting to the STAG diesel controller. Connect the Lambda probe to the bunch on the engine controller side. 
not on the Lambda probe side. The exhaust temperature sensor is mounted as close as possible to the head in the common section of the exhaust system. When mounting, pay special attention to ensure the tightness of the welded joint. The sensor should be inserted up to three quarters of the exhaust manifold diameter and locked in the bushing with the threaded joint. Mount the LPG switch at a location arranged together with the owner of the car. The ignition switched positive should be usually connected to the key switch. Locate a wire where the multimeter shows about 12 volt when the key is in the position I, and this value will be maintained after the engine is started or dropped to zero after the engine is switched off. Send a pulse to the LPG system solenoid valves and check all gas hose connections for tightness. When returning the car, hand over the necessary documents to the customer. Gas installation assembly approval, tank approval, warranty certificate, a report for vehicle inspection after LPG system installation, and an invoice for service rendered.